What's up, y'all? We back. Um, I want to talk about Mr. Jamie Foxx again. You see, I knew that on that day when Jamie Foxx came out, finally, out of nowhere, and expressed to his fans and the people who had concerns or curiosities about his health and his whereabouts, um, when he came out and addressed some things, well, he didn't really go into too much details. He didn't really tell so much about what his medical issue was, but when he did come out, I knew it was, it was just a promotion thing. I knew the powers that be who he worked for or his handlers had him come out and to try to give the public some kind of comfort in knowing that he's okay, allegedly. And this was the best way for them to help push they clone Tyrone because they knew the movie was about to drop and they needed Jimmy Fox. I feel like they didn't feel like there were people were going to support the movie if they didn't hear any information, new information on Jamie Fox. And if they didn't get any kind of video from Jamie Fox or some type of something showing proof that he is okay and that he's doing all right. So they did a clever job of uh, getting Jamie Foxx to <clears throat> come out when he did to make that video so he could, uh, you know, help promote the movie, The Clone Tyrone. I haven't watched the movie yet, uh, but I did. I do. I am aware of the scenes in the movie. Um, it's someone that I follow on YouTube, and he, um, I mean, he kind of put out there, spoiler alert, but he pretty much broke it down and he was kind of comparing uh, all of the scenes in the movie and, and the, the cloning stuff comparing he compared that to the Jamie Foxx in real life and how there could be some um, similarities or possibilities that they did the same thing with him in real life but overall I heard the movie was a good movie um, it definitely touched on a lot of subliminal messages, you know, talked about how they were able to mind control people through certain things or mind control black people through certain things like products like perm hair products, uh, the chicken, it was able to mind control the people through the chicken, um, the drugs, it was cocaine, they was able to get get them through that, the cocaine, and remember, and we do remember that in the, um, the, the crack era, the epidemic, the crack epidemic affected blacks the most than anybody else, so they, they, they did highlight a lot of different things that, a lot of different experiments they were doing on the black community, but cloning was a big part of it as well, and the substance that they were putting, this white powder substance that they were putting in some of these uh, products that they were pushing or, or selling or putting in the black community, uh, it was also helping them to get uh, access to these people to where, to where they can clone some of them. So um, I can't speak too much full in detail because I'm just aware of certain things that was broken down, but I have to watch it myself in full, in full detail. But just know that it is still odd and strange that these things, they're putting all this stuff in this, this movie and everybody has had all of these suspicions about Jamie Foxx and him possibly being cloned before we knew about this movie called They Clone Tyrone. So... I don't know. Just got to keep a close eye out on things and, and observe and see what what's new, what's going to come out of this uh, Jamie Foxx situation. 
this the real Jamie Foxx. And what's going to uh, if he's going to be speaking out more, or if it's just something he just did, or if they he just was put out there just to help promote this movie, and then he's probably going to go back off off the grid again and be behind the scenes. But there's still a lot of suspicions around this Jamie Foxx character, and you know, don't be fooled by what they're putting out there to the public because you know we we we've. A lot of us have already figured out a lot of things and a lot of lies that they've been telling around Jamie Foxx and a lot of uh, strange, odd things that's been going on around Jamie ever since his medical issue. And until it makes sense to us, you know, we have our right to speculate and assume whatever we want to assume. But I think we all need to check out this movie. They clone Tyrone. And also observe the whereabouts and the moves of Jamie Foxx. Because we do remember that. Jamie Foxx, the Jamie Foxx that showed up in that black SUV, or who was getting in that SUV after helping grab somebody's purse or find somebody's purse, that Jamie Foxx, that one looked very healthy. Look bigger, solid, darker complected. And he was bald. But this Jamie Foxx that just came out, acting as if, you know, he didn't want nobody to see him, he didn't want the people to see him like that. Well, this one looks a little frail, drained, lighter. He had, you know, this one had hair. It might could have been fake. It could have put you know a little, you know, fake situation to put line up in hair. But this one, like, if you if you show a bald in the public weeks prior, why would you show up with hair on your head in a video and another week or two after? Like, just just keep it bald. You're confusing people. And then for you to look all big and healthy and solid and muscular and your team, the TMZ video that was released when you were in the SUV, the black SUV, but then you look frail and skinny and drained and the, the, the latest video is like, bruh, what is going on? Like, come on now. Y'all not doing a great job of, of disguising or, or hiding the truth or trying to cover up y'all's lie because people are not dumb. People are not blind. We see what we see. And if, if you have, if you're a thinker, and you and you have some common sense, you're gonna ask yourself some questions like, hmm, well, why about the Jamie Foxx that came out before Jamie addressed the world and said what was going on that he's doing better? Why would that Jamie, why would the Jamie that we saw in that video look darker, bigger, and healthier? But then the Jamie we saw come out recently looked skinnier, lighter, and unhealthier. More drain, more you know, he looked like he was just recovering, or like they got him, they're holding him somewhere, and they just gave him a little window of time and say, Hey, you know, for him to just say his little words and just to try to get people comfort so they can push the promotion for the movie, and then they put him back in the chamber or whatever. It's like, What is going on? But it ain't making sense. I don't care what you say, it ain't making sense. So, allegedly, allegedly. There is more than one Jamie Foxx out there. There are multiple Jamie Foxxes. Did they clone Tyrone? Did they clone Jamie Foxx? Who is Eric Bishop? What are the what is the connection between Eric Bishop and Jamie Foxx and this clone stuff? Y'all take it easy, man. <laughs>